Cold-blooded killers given a chance to avoid death. That is how one state prosecutor describes the wave of death row inmates now getting new sentencing hearings. As investigative reporter Christopher Heath explains, the pain of those cases never goes away. The road then packed with police. As we're going down that road, we hear the alert tone. He said, officer down. On a cold January evening, Paul Beasley Johnson killed three people, including a deputy. When I pulled up, I see my buddy's car. The engine was still running. The door was open. The lights, you know, facing the uh, drainage ditch area. Blood on the ground. I mean, I'll never forget it. Former FDLE investigator Tommy Ray went through the academy with deputy T.A. Burnham. That night, he found his friend shot on the side of the road. It makes you sick to think that uh, there's such evil in the world. Deputies would eventually track down Johnson. Why'd you do it? Two trials, three guilty verdicts, one death sentence. Until now. The jury only voted 11 to 1 for death, so Johnson gets a new sentencing hearing. One of two cases Tommy Ray is faced with. The other, this man. Nelson Serrano. He very nearly got away with murder. Y he did. In an elaborate plot, Serrano flew from Atlanta to Orlando, drove to this business in Bartow, killed his former business partner and three others. 911, where's your emergency? Four people that got murdered over here. Four people are murdered? Yes! Oh my God! Then jumped on a plane in Tampa and flew back. Tommy Ray spent almost five years cracking the case. It was well planned out, no doubt. But Serrano is eligible for a new hearing, too. Again, the jury did not reach a unanimous decision for death, something the Supreme Court ruled is unconstitutional. Having to go through this is like, you know, ripping a scab off, you know, just uh, opening an old wound and rubbing salt in it. Florida has 384 of these cases, more than 50 in Central Florida alone. Some will get life without parole, others will go back to court, where victims' families will once again see the killers in person, and taxpayers will pay the tab. Mm. And as we stand here right now, we do not know how many are actually going to end up going back for another hearing as far as the cost for another hearing. I talked to one prosecutor. He said tens of thousands of dollars, and that's just the start. It depends on how long it goes. You've got to impanel a jury. There's a lot of work that's going to go into each and every one of these that goes back for another hearing. Now, Chris, not every case will get a new hearing. Why is that? It's really up to the prosecutors who will, of course, talk to the victim's families and find out, do you want to go through this again? Is this something we want to do? A lot of these... Uh, convicted murderers are getting up there in years and the victim's families may be saying listen we don't want to go through it this person's 80 years old 84 years old let's just let them so it's there's a lot that has to be sorted out some will get another hearing others won't all right good work thank you interesting